is good everybody welcome to an epic body of toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wrestling figure action fig i don't know why i said action figure twice today like uh, today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new action figure news for you guys coming out of the wrestling figure world and today we're not going to be discussing wwe action figures or mattel but we are diving into the other side of the coin which is just as damn good as the other side of the coin we have aew unrivaled action figure news for you guys and i'm super excited to get into it now before we get into it i do not know where this news came from. I just got on Instagram the other day and saw that my boy Steinsenberg Customs had uploaded a photo which I will share with you guys and it, it revealed the full wave to us so I want to give a huge shout out to Steinsenberg Customs because he's the one that I saw posted. I don't know where it originated from. He didn't tag anybody so I apologize if I uh, did not give credible source but I saw it with Steinsenberg, my boy Cody over there. But diving into it guys, we have AEW Unrivaled Series 3 revealed to us and I'm super excited to get into it so you guys already know the first two or three figures in the set because we already We've already talked about it, you know, we've already done some different reveals. We've even seen render images of some of these. So let's go ahead and start off, guys. Starting out first, we do have Pac, which we all knew. We knew Pac would be in this set. Looks great. I can't wait for it. I think this is going to be a really terrific figure. You have the black attire. You have the nice head sculpt. And we know that we were supposed to get this from Mattel. If you guys remember the render of Elite Series 55, Neville, when he was with WWE, we thought we were going to get that figure, but then they ended up changing it to the gold attire, which is still a lovely figure. People love that figure as well, but it is cool to finally get get a black attire Pac. He doesn't have the Neville logo, which I'm sure you could get a decal or something if you wanted to put that Neville logo on there. But, you know, Pac looks great. Can't wait for this. And I'm super excited for this Pac figure. The other figure in the set that we knew about is going to be Orange Cassidy. Now, this is the figure that I'm probably the most excited for. I just can't wait to use him. You guys know he's a part of the blue brand here in the MDT Pick Fed, the Vindication brand. So, I'm super excited for the Orange Cassidy figure. And not only am I excited for the figure, but looking at the, the details and the sculpts, and not only that, but the accessories that we're going to get with this guy. It, this, this looks like one of the figures of the year when we finally get to it. Now, do I think we're going to get it by this year? Who knows? You know, everything's up in the air. We were supposed to get Series 2 in October, weren't we? And we still haven't seen those. They were up for pre-order. They were supposed to ship out in late October. We're now in early November. So I'm not sure you guys know with the pandemic and everything, it has just totally put a wrench in the plans of a lot of stuff, especially dealing with the AEW figures, why the skin tones were messed up for Series 1 and so on and so forth. So Orange Cassidy is the next figure in the set. The, the jean jacket looks incredible. The t-shirt looks incredible. Uh, the, the shorts, the molded hand pockets that we're going to be getting with Orange Cassidy. This is definitely the figure I'm most looking forward to, but he is also a part of Series 3. We also have Darby Allen, which we knew about as well. Darby Allen, we got some photos of him. He is going to be a chase in the set. I'm not sure if he's going to be the, the rare or the super rare, the 1 in 1,000 or the 1 in 500. I don't think that was confirmed just yet. But uh, if it was, then it'll be on your screen somewhere. But there is Darby Allen. Darby Allen looks good. I can't wait for that. Another guy that's just going to fit into the collection great. Now, obviously, we've already had Pac before. We've had, like, Neville figures, right? But we've never seen an Orange Cassidy figure. We've never seen a Darby Allen figure. We've seen customs and stuff. But having an official product for an action figure of Orange Cassidy and Darby Allen is going to be absolutely huge. I think these guys are going to be very fun to pose around, very great. Who knows, Darby Allen in the Extreme Championship Division or the Iron Man Division on Vindication or MDT Live going battle with Kevin Owens is going to be intense. And Orange Cassidy, you guys know, is already on the blue brand like we discussed. And Pac is actually on MDT Live as Neville, so there is that. But not only did we already know about those three figures, guys, we are getting the final three revealed to us here today. And I'm excited to get into it, guys. So starting out first, we have Riho. Now, Riho is the other chase in the set from the AEW Unrivaled Collection coming into Series 3. Brandy Rhodes was really the first woman, but I feel like Riho's the first women's in-ring competitor. Like, Brandy's had a couple matches in AEW, but, you know, she's more of a manager role. She's more of a sidekick role. She's not really a big-time wrestler. Riho was a, you know, AEW World Champion and everything like that. So Riho is definitely going to be great. I imagine her figure will look really bomb. I can't wait to see what she looks like next to our other women's collections. You know, our new Elite Bailey, our Ultimate Charlotte, Ultimate Becky, you know, Nia Jax, Sasha Banks, Asuka, Io Shirai, all of those figures. I can't wait to see what she looks fitting in there. Uh, she's really good in the ring. I just, I feel like she's a bit soft at times. So if she made her way to the MDT division of the women's division, you guys know we're having our first women's championship match at My Damn Nation. I think uh, maybe we, we'd stiffen her up a little bit. We'd have her knocking heads off. So 
Riho is uh, one of the figures in the set, so it'll be our first women's competitor figure that we're going to get from AEW outside of Brandy Rhodes, which we just covered. And then the last two in the set, which is probably going to get some mixed feelings. I feel like people are probably going to be on and off the fence right here about this news, but the last two in the set are going to be Matt and Nick Jackson. So the Young Bucks are getting their second figures in the waves here. This will come up next to who? The, uh, Cody's had two figures. If you count his Chase variant, you had Kenny Omega with his, you know, AEW authentic scale ring figure in the green and black attire next to his regular AEW figure. And then Chris Jericho, who has had three different figures, if you count his Chase variant. You had the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly. You had the regular AEW Unrivaled 1. And then you had the Chase variant version of that. So Matt and Nick Jackson are going to be getting their second figures here. And I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm very excited to see if they repeat the head sculpts. Are they going to give us brand new sculpts? Are they going to give a... I, I know the, the torsos are not the torsos, but we know the torsos and arms are probably going to be the same, but I'm expecting the skin, tone, the skin tones to be a little bit better than they were in their last figures. I expect to see some really great things. Hopefully these figures actually come with tassels. I really want to see tassel attires for Matt and Nick Jackson, and I'm pretty sure that we're not going to see any of this at Ringside Fest. I could be wrong about that. We might get something from these, from these figures at Ringside Fest. I highly doubt it. I just don't see that happening, but who knows? Anything is possible uh, with 2020 going on, man. I mean, anything. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if freaking the, the, we got real life young bucks you know they just they cloned the young bucks and they're going to be available for pur purchase in real life scale. So who the hell knows, man? Anything is possible here. Matt and Nick Jackson are going to be the last two in the set. So our full wave looks like this. We have Matt and Nick Jackson, Darby Allen, Orange Cassidy, Riho, and Pac. Again, Riho and Darby Allen are your Chase variant possibilities. It says it says Chase possible, but I don't know. Th this apparently is a pre-order that uh, has them set for coming out in January or February 2021. That's what I would expect out of these. You know, Series 3, since Series 2 isn't even here yet, um, again, COVID putting... A big damper on everything and uh, kind of just messing everything up as far as a collector standpoint and setting things back and having setbacks and delays and stuff. But this is a pre-order date and um, hopefully Series 2 arrives soon, man. I feel like we've been waiting a long time for our Moxley's and our MJF's and that whole series right there. So I'm really excited to get Series 2 in here. I can't wait to get the reviews up for you guys. But Matt and J Nick Jackson, I'm hoping that it's in a good attire as well. I would like to see maybe they're like, what is it, like the purplish, like yellow and black, like camoufla camouflage attire there or maybe the uh, the black and lightning with the you know the lime, lime green or the volt color with the black mixed in with the lightning bolts and the Young Bucks t-shirts. Maybe uh, cloth would be really nice. I know we're going to get cloth t-shirts. If they come with t-shirts, they will be cloth. But uh, I would love to see Matt and Nick Jackson in some, you know, some classic Young Buck looks with the tassels and everything like that. And maybe, how cool would it be to see Nick come with a straight face since he got the screaming head sculpt or the grimacing head sculpt last time. And then for Matt to get the screaming or grimacing head sculpt and uh, you know, flip flop it because the last time Matt had the straight face and Nick had the grimacing, if you flipped it, then you could do head swaps and have both of them pissed off, both of them straight face, and you could do some cool fix ups and stuff like that, even though uh, the skin tones actually would be screwed up. So, F everything I just said. But overall, I am liking it. I'm liking the set. You know, I, I feel like we could probably get other guys before we got Matt and Nick Jackson. I would have really loved to have seen Luchasaurus or, or Jungle Boy. I would have loved to have seen SCU in this set. I would like to see, uh, there's just so many, there's so many competitors that we could see here but Matt and Nick Jackson still are big staples in the company I still am excited to get their figures because I feel like a lot of people didn't really like their attire from the last figures you guys know like the Elvis inspired gear I would have really liked to seen something different for for their first figures but it was still cool I still like it it's a cool moment and everything so maybe these will be more iconic and they'll look better and everything like that but I think that is going to do it for today's video guys I hope you guys did enjoy I should have a wrestling figure review going up tomorrow if I'm not mistaken we'll have to see about that but I think that is all the news that I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think of the set down in the comment section below. I'd really, really appreciate it. Before we get out of here with AEW Series 3, I do want to give a shout out for comments on our last video. You guys didn't know. Leave us a comment down below and you can get a potential shout out in a future video. So huge shout out to Tristan's Wrestling Figures. He said, dude, I want my John Moxley so bad. Late October? Okay, buddy. And yeah, you know, uh, yeah, Tristan, you're correct. I like it. We covered it in, the, in this video a little bit. John Moxley's figure should be here very soon, late October. But you know, you can't control everything. I'm sure if Jazz Wears and everybody could have a, you know, if they if they could have the figures out by now and they were at their best quality possible, they would already be here. So I, I trust the process here. Yeah, it looks like the pre-order date was definitely wrong on this. I'm hoping that these figures do come in soon because just like you guys, I'm I'm really wanting my AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 2, especially after Series 1 and how great they were. I can't wait to see how they compare and then the updated skin tones and the, the nice John Moxley head sculpt comparing it to his Dean Ambrose elites and stuff, guys. I'm really excited for it 
and yeah, I do want my figures, but I'm sure that Jazzwares is doing everything they can to get those figures out, and Jeremy is doing everything he can to make sure that we get those figures in hand, and when we get them in hand, they're not just rushed out there, so I'm sure they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing, and hopefully in time, we will get them as soon as possible, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Huge shout out to Tristan for that comment on our last video. Be sure to leave us one for a potential shout out on a few videos. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.